Representatives of the World Health Organization, the Pediatric Society, and the Guazulu Natal Children's Hospital celebrated Kuvadia and lauded his contribution in the academic fraternity. He received the Dira Sengwe Lifetime Achievement Award at the South African AIDS Conference in June this year. Kuvadia undertook groundbreaking research about HIV transmission between mother and child. His children say their father was also an advocate for peace and equality. Even if there were conflicts, I think he learned in many ways from Nelson Mandela, but also from his own heart, that even if you have adversaries, you want to resolve struggles in a way that includes them. That means that everyone is reconciled at the end. And whenever I talk to him, he always had very good advice about the kind of difficulties we have in our society. And if my dad had a departing wish, he would ask you all to not accept intolerance and discrimination, to not accept mediocrity and incompetence, to not accept corruption and bullying, to not accept false leadership, and to not ex ignore those who are suffering around us. Close friend Praveen Gordon says Kuvadia put his life on the line in order to emancipate the country from oppression. But the loss is not just about his role in the past, it's about the kind of role he could have played in guiding future generations. Future generations that have become politically active in one form or another, who have lost their way. His medical peers have dubbed him as a medical icon who had a passion for children. Kuvadia was laid to rest in a private ceremony on Thursday. I'm Nuntlagani Pamakwaza for SABC News in Durban.